What is up guys, it is Monsi coming back at you with the new Team Fortress 2 series, I guess you could say. Today we're playing the soldiers, you can see I have my festive buff banner, the Liberty Launcher, and the Enforcer. So this game was uh, pretty typical of me, it's actually probably a little bit better than I normally do. I haven't had too much time to play, but this is still my favorite game of all time, as you can tell by the cosmetics I have. I might have thrown maybe just a little bit of money into this game. Maybe. I actually haven't spent that much, but I do love this game. And there's actually some pretty entertaining sections in this, as you'll see later. Um, this is my first edited video on this channel, and probably... Let's see, it, it has to be about four years since I've edited one video on this channel. And, you know, that could reflect my subscriber, uh, my subscriber count, but you get what I'm saying. So, so far, the editing has taken two and a half hours, but let's get on to something entertaining. So, I am building my girlfriend a PC, and that will probably be a video. I'm going to have to get a different camera if mine does not work. But I cannot find a charger to charge it. But I think I have found one that will actually charge. I do have a micro USB cable that I'm pretty sure will charge my camera. So I'm going to record the process. That will come out in the video. A uh, little sneak peek. I ordered all the stuff on Black Friday for it and got all of the stuff really cheap. I got an M MSI AM3 Plus ATX motherboard for like... $70 or $69 with a $20 mail-in rebate and then I got a AMD FX 8320 and I ordered a pink case that was pretty much the only cost I was not accounting for because you can get good cases that are very well cooled come stock with fans plenty of space for like $30 $40 well when you get into the pink cases with pink LED fans with a wide open window on the side so you can see all your pink stuff. That That's what she wanted, so she got it. Um, things get a little bit pricey. I'll say it was on sale. It's normally $119 and it's on sale for $69.99, so that is a very, very good thing. Something else I thought I'd bring up is the PC Master Race. I am definitely part of the PC Master Race, guys. As you can tell, this video is in... Uh, 1080p should be 60 hertz. I don't remember is 60 hertz or whatever. I, I have no idea, but it should be in 1080p at the least. I am running a Intel 6800K. That is the six-core processor with uh, stock 3.4. It'll turbo up to 3.6. I don't. I do not think it has turboed once the entire time I've had it. Uh, it's got 12 threads. So if it was an AMD processor, they would say it was a 12-core processor because. AMD counts all their threads as cores, and that's why a 8-core AMD is basically a 4-core. And I'm not knocking AMD. Of course, I'm building a PC with it, but one of their 8-core processors is basically an Intel quad-core. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So, yeah, PC Master Race. I'm running two Radon RX 480s, 16 gigs of DDR4. I have a... MSI motherboard that supports both four-way crossfire and four-way SLI, so I'm set up for a very long time, guys, and it's liquid-cooled, so that says enough about it, and don't even ask me the price. It was kind of out there, but it wasn't anything too insane. I didn't go complete master race and drop like five grand on a PC. That is completely pointless. I got a PC that is very upgradable. Like I said, I have the DDR4 motherboard. So it is very upgradable. It is next gen already. The socket top just came out about six months ago for the Broadwell Elon. I can improve to the 10 core processor when it goes down in price if I want to. 10 cores, 20 or 10 cores, 18 threads. I don't remember how many threads that one was, but it's insane. So let's get on here and talk a little bit more about some Team Fortress 2. <laughs> this gameplay, to be exact. This is a payload game. And you, as you can tell, I did cut the deaths out of this payload game. And you kind of have to, or else this clip itself was 17 minutes long when I didn't cut the deaths out and the runbacks and uh, just some of the lesser clips out of it. And it is mainly not, 
I think I only cut two actual gameplay clips out of this footage. So this is pretty legitimate. You're about to see a lot of people get blowing up right here. This is where I thought we would end up losing, but clutch buff banner with the medic to help me secure this point right here. Our entire team fed off of that buff banner. Everybody just happened to be in the same place at the same time, so that really benefited the team. And as you can see, we are progressing now. But, little spoiler, this game does end in a loss. <laughs> I just thought I would throw that out there before you got your hopes and dreams up. This game does end in a loss. It just shows you that sometimes you can be doing very well. And for a payload map, I did very well. And a lot of my team did very well. But, as I've always said, it is a lot easier to defend than it is to attack. And that should apply to every TF2 player. There are some maps where... Well, actually, I can't think of one. This is probably one of the harder ones to defend, but like Barn Blitz and all that, that those those are pretty easy to defend. So most of the time, defending is way, way, way easier. Here we have another buff banner. I thought this was going to actually win us the game. I really thought that we were going to be able to break through with this and push the card all the way to the end because they did not have a lot of time to regroup. Um... Someone took a sentry down at the base. They were starting to set up at the base. And I really thought right here was where everything was going to change. And, of course, I'm top scoring. Not really anybody's close to me. And it doesn't matter. Like, the top score doesn't matter. As you can tell, I'm playing the objective, actually. There's a lot of YouTubers I see. Uh, if I'm going to record a video, guys, and I know some YouTubers, you know, like, I have a four terabyte hard drive in my computer. That's what I record to. So I could record absolutely every game that I have, and I know a lot of them will, and I don't play the objective every game I play, I won't lie. But if I know that I'm, you know, it's like, hey, I want to make a video for YouTube, I'm going to record content of me not just, you know, running around, and this is going to sound really ironic when you see the clip here in a little bit, but... I try to actually play the objective in the point in the game that you're going to see coming up probably in about 30, 40 seconds. That's the point in the game where I just decided, you know what? We're done. They had two very good demo men that were laying down pretty much sticky traps. And they had sentries that the sticky bombs were helping guard. So it had to have been a whole team effort. And... It doesn't bother me, guys. This is TF2. It's just a fun game, and especially in casual, like I was playing, nobody should get flustered, and nobody really did. Nobody cared. We made it far enough. And so, like I said, whole team effort would have been possible to push forward and win, but it's it's not going to happen in this game, and it's probably never going to happen if a team defends this good in any game you play. So, yeah. And... Right here, right here, just just, just watch. Just watch. You're about to see me do something very, very stupid. Okay, watch this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That, that was pathetic. Okay, so this is the clip I've talked about probably the entire game. You're going to love this clip. This is how you know. This was the point in time I knew we lost the game. Okay, so there's just this guy here. He's not doing nothing, so I just start taunting. He just kind of air blasts around. I knew this guy was on board right when he just started air blasting me out of taunts. At least he knows how to use mouse too. Maybe that's what he was trying to prove with this. Okay. So he's definitely on board now, laughing about it. Just messing around. Okay. He agrees. We should dance. Right there. He nods his head. He agrees. Alright, so we're about to dance. We are seriously about to do this. This is going to have it. And... No. That's right. I was trying to construct world peace. I was trying to make world peace a thing. And look what happened. I had to tell the guy in chat. I said, dude, I was trying to create world peace. And you had to come along and ruin absolutely... All of my fun. It's not even right, man. It's not even right. 
So as far as it's a loadout I'm using, I love it. This is one I actually don't use that much. I don't know if I have more than 50 kills. I do have a strange little video launcher. I don't know if I have more than 50 to 100 kills with it. I use it every now and then, and somewhat people, some people call it like a noob combo. It's really not. It's kind of, I don't want to say bad, but you guys know the regular rocket launcher is the best rocket launcher in the game. But people, you know, they say the whole random crit still makes the Liberty Launcher better than the regular rocket launcher in non-competitive game modes where you can get random crits. And I, you can watch this video and kind of point that out, but I could have got just as many regular crits with the regular rocket launcher. So, that about wraps this up. Thanks for watching, guys.